Hey guys, good morning. Hope you're having a blessed day. Um, I come to you uh, to give you a few dreams. Uh, this morning, something came to my attention with Mike 444, uh, his prophecies that he reads in his videos, um, and it was about the Nephilim, the fallen ones, and I was like, oh, I haven't made a video about the dreams that I've had uh, concerning the Nephilim, and just tribulation dreams uh, in general. Um, there's there's a video that I posted with my dream log, but it was just really long and just really drawn out, uh, and I wanted to kind of keep it short and sweet. Um, these uh, dreams, I think, are being given to me by the Lord to warn uh, the people, uh, Christians and the unsaved as well, to what is coming. Uh, you know, if we're either raptured out of here or we're not, if, if the rapture doesn't happen and these things come, you know, either or, we just need to be under protect the protection of the Most High um, through Jesus Christ. So, <clears throat> um, I'll start with uh, the uh, Nephilim, the giant dreams that I've had. Um, I've had dreams of uh, giants being here um, and um, there there was one, there was a couple with the fee fi fo fum type of Jack and the Beanstalk type of giants and um, I had to fight one and I was actually like eluding him and just like running around him and dodging him um, and uh, I remember saying like this one's really slow, but I'm sure there's probably some that are that are quicker in speed and um, But so um, Yeah, so Giants uh, will be here during the tribulation uh, as well as um, Reptilian looking beings uh, reptilian Beings I've also seen those um, I've seen like what's called like the Naga in like certain uh, cultures. I think like Indian culture they're called like the Naga, which are like reptilian serpent beings, um, like the head of a the head of a serpent, and then like a reptilian type of body. You know, still had the um, quadruped. You know, two arms and two legs and whatnot, um, torso. And uh, also, um, I've seen uh, if you remember the movie the Gremlins. Um, if you remember Gremlins, Gremlins was a movie from the 80s and whatnot that um, was very popular and whatnot. Um, I've seen uh, a creature that looked just like that. It was probably seven, to, maybe seven to eight feet tall, um, like a real live version. It was no, not on a miniature scale whatsoever. Um, and they, they, they're very vile. They're very vile. They're very... Um, they're very just disgusting. Um, they're they're perverse. They're they're just very something you do that just doesn't belong here. Definitely, it's definitely demonic. Um, also, um, a, a half bird, half like man hybrid, um, nephilim hybrid. Uh, I've seen these bird creatures um, that had. To, you can you can actually find a, a, a picture of it on the on the internet. You can Google it, and um, I think it's somewhere in like in somewhere in Asia. Um, they have these like these statues of them at certain temples and whatnot, and it shocked me. Like I was just like, what was this thing? I had to look it up, and sure enough, they had idols like to this creature um and um so yeah those those will be here in the tribulation these half bird half um human hybrids um as well as um besides that i've seen like other like i've seen means of technology of um of if you've ever seen the transformers movies i'm pretty sure you guys have seen the transformer movies um yeah transformers will be here that's something that they've been working on they're, they're not putting these movies out just for pure entertainment you know they're predictive programming they are to uh um, to warn us as well as to um it's more of a 
like less of a shock factor, I guess, um, when it does happen and whatnot. Um, but uh, yeah, Transformers, I had to fight two of them. I seen one huge one that was like a Megazord from like Power Rangers. Um, that one I wasn't able to fight. I think I was waiting on backup. <laughs> I was waiting on backup. I was waiting on the homies to come through to uh, to fight this one. But uh, I've had to fight the the solo ones that are that are. I mean, they're still huge in stature. They're still like crazy huge. But um, but yeah, I've I've had to fight two of those. And I wasn't like throwing blows. I was more like eluding. I was more like running and dodging and. Um, and yeah, so um, Transformers, uh, I've also seen um, the Terminator, the, the Terminator skeleton robots, um, also seen those in the Tribulation, uh, quick flash vision of those twice, I've had two flash visions of those, um, and also Predator, um, also Predator, uh, actually Predator twice. Um, uh, the main theme that's been coming a lot to me lately is UFOs and aliens, which you should know the aliens are not extraterrestrial. They are terrestrial. You know, um, they, they're demonic. We'll just say they're demons deceiving people into thinking they are quote unquote aliens. Um, that's part of the grand deception, you know, a fake rapture or something along those lines, you know, with, um, with aliens coming down and, you know, um, having, having, having their way with us. I mean, if, uh, there's actually, um, there was something I was watching a while back, um, uh, and it was about this UFO investigator and, uh, he, he found out that, a lot of people that would say uh, that would be getting abducted uh, or be in the middle of it or whatnot, uh, you know, they would they would scream out Jesus Christ, and the um, abduction would just stop. Now, why would aliens fear the name of Jesus? Hmm. Interesting. So, um, yeah, these these quote unquote aliens are you know, just demons posing as, you know, um, as aliens. And, you know, the word says that, you know, Satan can masquerade as, a, as an angel of light, you know, and that's where the new age, you know, people get deceived with, you know, spirit guides and channeling and everything. And, um, you know, even Aleister Crowley, you know, the, the Satanist, you know, he, he was, you know, in contact with Lamb and whatnot, you know, this alien looking creature, you know, it was, it was a demon, like, you know, um, so, uh, definitely don't dabble in that, um, don't dabble in any dark stuff like that, um, but if you wanted to do your own investigation as far as, like, finding out what these aliens are, yes, they are demons, um, and the reason why that the UFO investigator, he couldn't, uh, really he went to some other ones some other investigators and they said they don't speak up about this because they'll lose their credibility because the whole foundation of the new age and ancient aliens and everything is built on this foundation of extraterrestrial them not being from here and them being you know uh aliens and not demons you know um and so that'll just crush their job their job will be over you know so they have to keep that under wraps because that's part of the grand deception Anyway, I'm not trying to get too far deep into that. Um, I just wanted to tell you about some of the dreams, the Nephilim dreams. And then the main thing that I've been having lately <clears throat> within the last month is, um, is are these are aliens, UFOs. Um, I've been seeing them just quickly in the sky and then seeing like maybe one come down. And I've seen the predator, uh, predator looking one come down. Um, and I've been seeing um, just quick, quick little flash visions of these dreams of, of extraterrestrials. So I believe that is something that's getting ready to happen as well. Uh, I don't know how soon, um, but it's definitely, um, going to happen. Um, so I hope you guys have a blessed day. Um, I hope this information was helpful to you. Um, share this with, with those 
that need to hear it, uh, either unsaved or um, or saved as well, just to to let us know, let let everyone know what is going to be here. Um, and hopefully we are not here when that happens. So get your spiritual houses in order. Uh, make sure to have plenty of oil in your lamp. Don't be a foolish virgin. Be a wise virgin. You know, um, because you know it can be any day where the Lord comes back. You know, and we want to make sure that you know that when, when we want to make sure He doesn't say, "I never knew you." Depart, like I never knew you. You know, so build your relationship with the Lord, um, and have a blessed day, guys. Uh, I'll see you soon. Lord's will.